Merry Christmas in July. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and it's Christmas time <laughs> in July. It's actually halfway there. We're on the downward slope towards Christmas. So if that makes you anxious, I'm sorry. <laughs> and for people who don't like Christmas as much as I do, like Randy, <laughs> sorry Randy, um, you probably shouldn't watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, so I wanted to host a new cow, and it's going to be the Christmas in July cow. Well, it's a mount to make along. It could be any kind of craft, really. I don't care. <laughs> um, or Christmas stuff, and I'll explain. I got a whole list here of everything, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I thought I'd get all festive in order to announce it. I just heard a firework, which is weird because it's daylight. But <laughs> um, this cow starting is going to be all of July, hence Christmas in July. So it's starting on July 1st and running all the way through the 31st. Uh, this is the last day to get entries in, all the way up to like. 12 in the morning <laughs> and um, then the little first week of August I will select winners and I'm gonna have four winners from the uh, finished album <laughs> it's gonna be hosted on my Facebook group so if you're not a member of the Facebook group or if you don't have Facebook I'm sorry um, I use Facebook the most so I do all my group stuff over there and um, I don't use any other platforms to host cows on so it all be hosted onto the Facebook group so if you would like to join it it'll be linked below but yeah so it's the Christmas in July cow now whatever <laughs> it can be knit crochet uh, sewing even any kind of craft you can think of illuminating whatever any kind of craft <laughs> and uh, whips will be accepted um, they just have to be finished in July between July 1st and the end of July so and and the whips can consist of any type of Christmas decorations or Christmas gifts if you're making something for someone or anything like that decorations ornaments anything like that uh, amigurumi etc 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 but um, I also wanted to do themed weeks there are four full weeks of July and then a few days at the end uh, so what I wanted to do was every week there's gonna be a theme for finished objects you can complete any kind of object but if you finish the themed type that week you get five extra entries into the giveaway at the end so if you do the themed weeks you can get more entries for the giveaway at the end of the thing so i'm trying to say <laughs> so week one will be july 1st through the 7th and its theme is ornaments so you can make any kind of christmas ornaments uh you know here's one my sister made it's cross stitch this one's made out of cloth it's backwards but it was actually gifted to me this one up here i don't know if you can see it good but it's a bauble that's got jesse's handprint on it i think that would count because that's a craft so any kind of Christmas ornaments would count that week for five extra bonuses. So you would technically get six because you would get the one for the entry and then five bonus ones. But like I said, you can also do anything that week and still get one entry. Just the ornaments will get more. Week two is the 8th through the 14th and it is stockings slash tree skirts. So if you make any kind of stockings to hang up <laughs> and it means actual stockings, not like ornament stockings that would be in the first week. And then tree skirts. I'm using a blanket right now because I couldn't find my tree skirt. But there's a blanket down here. But any kind of tree skirts for Christmas trees. Week 3 is the 15th through the 21st. And it'll be wreaths. So any kind of Christmas wreaths. And again, it's actual wreaths, not like little ornament wreaths. But it doesn't have to be crochet wreath. It can be any kind of wreath that you make. And then the 4th week of July is 22nd through the 28th. And it's amigurumi. So any kind of little guys like my little buddy the elf or even little tiny ones, any any kind of amigurumi will count that week for bonus entries. And then the last three days, because there's not another week, is the 29th through the 31st. You will get five extra entries for every gift that you make to enter. And it's an actual gift to give someone, <laughs> not like a present box, you know. So that's just ways that you can get extra um entries towards the giveaway at the end of it and like I said there's gonna be four winners I haven't gotten the prizes together yet but I already have ideas and it will consist of some bags probably and yarn and maybe some Christmas themed things I don't know <laughs> I'm a huge Christmas person so Christmas is always on my mind and that's why I wanted to do Christmas in July so I will make a album on the Facebook group on July 1st tomorrow morning maybe tonight I don't know <laughs> but um for finished objects and I ask that you only post one picture per finished object just to make it easier for me to um, do the winnings at the end and what I do every time I do a cow on the Facebook group is I I go through the pictures and make sure that there's only one of each item 
and then I count them up and I do the random number generator with the pictures and some people post them in the comments instead of actually in the album and I still count those too because I know Facebook can be a little tricky to uh, figure out sometimes so I do go ahead and count the comment pictures on the album instead of just the album itself but um, so one I one picture per item but you can enter as many items as you want uh, I don't care it's just it'd be fun to see all kinds of Christmas stuff and things intending to be gifts it would be neat yeah so i think that's all the information i need to share with the new make along that's christmas in july themed Woo i'm so excited about it because i love christmas but um it's funny because i made a post on my facebook talking about this video and for some reason a lot of people thought that i was pregnant and announcing my pregnancy i'm not pregnant <laughs> i don't intend on getting pregnant anytime soon but um yeah i'm also not buying a house even though that was another a lot of them and uh, some people guessed writing patterns or something like that. And I am working on some patterns. It's just taking me forever because I've got so much stuff going on. I haven't been able to focus on one thing at a time. But yeah, so it was just the crochet along. <laughs> I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. But, you know, it's still going to be fun. And uh, I love thinking about Christmas. So getting a head start six months before Christmas will be nice to uh, get some gifts ready and stuff. Uh, I have some ideas for some things I'd like to make for people. But I don't know if I actually get around to doing it. But there's definitely going to be some Christmas decorations being made. Because I'm already working on some. But like I said earlier, whips are accepted. So if you started the beginning of January on an afghan for someone for Christmas and you haven't finished it yet you could totally count that it just has to be finished between July 1st and July 31st that night so um, any already started whips will count <laughs> so uh, if you started on a wreath or something I know there's some people in the group working on reefs already if you already started on reefs then you can enter that in the cow also and uh, I will list below and on the Facebook group, the weeks and the themes for that week so that you can keep an eye on it. So if you're making a wreath, you can enter it on the wreath week. Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> or ornaments on the ornament week and all that kind of stuff. So that you can get those bonus entries. <laughs> but yeah, I hope some of you guys are excited for this cow because I just am super excited. I can't wait to participate myself. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's everything for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.